I don't know that it's ever not been a passion. I think doing this kind of work in the schools just makes sense from a public health standpoint that, you know, if we're gonna really have an impact, um, we need to get in there as early as possible. As a clinical psychologist and professor of psychology at Appalachian State University, Dr. Kurt Michael saw an extreme need for mental health services for students in the rural Northwest North Carolina mountain region that's why he created the Assessment Support and Counseling, or ASK Centers, which provide mental health services to high school students surrounding the Boone area. One of the things that we really are passionate about, we want to really try to reduce the number of kids who are A, distressed, and certainly um, become planful about uh, their own demise, and then worse, those that make attempts. Kurt and his team have just done an amazing job of making mental health services accessible to youth in Western North Carolina uh, in a way that's been just uh, among the best in the nation. Kurt always taught us that the, the ideal psychologist is research practice slash practitioner, and that is what Kurt does. He, he is active in the community. He, is, he practices what he preaches, so to speak, um, and he encourages all of us to go out and make a difference in our individual communities, wherever they may be. Uh, Dr. Michael, you know, I think is really the perfect example of what it means to engage in service um, because he, he does it as part of his teaching and he does it as part of his research, but he is extending himself and his students uh, into a community in a way that is making a real difference in the lives of people. The match for the mission of Appalachian and Dr. Michael's work are really perfectly aligned. One, the focus on public engagement, public service, creating citizens that are going to be really the kind of citizen that give back to their community, that see a need and wish to help with that need. With issues of access to care and a large cultural stigma towards mental health services, the counties of Watauga, Ashe, and Allegheny all report higher than normal incidents of teen emotional distress, including suicide. High school students everywhere face lots of pressures and difficulties these days, not just in Watauga County or in North Carolina, but everywhere. What's unique here is that the Assessment Support and Counseling Center provides wraparound services to students in need. In moving a center like the ASK Center into the schools, you are deploying a tremendous resource for these children and adolescents. It's like creating a kind of safety net for mental health that doesn't exist in any other way. The Assessment Support and Counseling, or ASK Centers, came about over eight years ago when Dr. Michael sat down with then Watauga High School principal, Angela Quick, to brainstorm ways to provide mental health services at no cost to students, with trained supervised graduate students from Appalachian State providing care in the school. After the first year, the amount of student referrals and parent referrals um, had doubled and, and in some aspects tripled where we were the first year. And it was just from having this unbiased, kind of non-threatening person to talk through some of the issues that were going on or the thoughts and contemplations that students were going or having as they were going through this highly volatile sometimes situation, which is called high school. What he's done is created a way for uh, many, many kids in difficult situations to get access to services that they would not otherwise have. And in addition to that, help our students become effective practitioners in the community. Measured success with helping students at Watauga High School led to the opening of two more assessment support and counseling centers in the high schools of neighboring Ashe and Allegheny counties. Not only does he see a need in the community, but then helps our students to fill that void. Students get to witness firsthand how they make a difference, and that's powerful. That's absolutely powerful stuff. It's the kind of thing that students don't forget. I was called into the SRO's office pretty early in the morning. Being trained and supervised by him taught me so much, not necessarily through him, specifically communicating the information, but just kind of 
watching him or hearing him share stories or seeing how he handled himself. His passion for the work that he's doing in the community um, is, is unmatched. You just don't see that uh, with a lot of university personnel. We publish research each year about how effective we have been. Um, our outcome data suggests that we are able to help up to 70% of the students we see. We're able to prevent suicide, we're able to prevent homicidal tendencies. I would like to think that we prevented a lot of more serious acts and a lot of more serious um, incidences that could have occurred just because we were there. We were there every day and so if something was going on, a teacher or a student got light of something, a lot of times through social media or through school writings, they had an immediate place to go and an immediate place to go and try to get help. With his work to develop the ASC centers, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, through the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, awarded Dr. Michael over $1.1 million in federal grant funding to continue the grassroots mental health intervention services. He's developed many model programs which we use across the state that has, and our graduation rate is the highest ever. And I think it just came out at 83.8%, which is the highest in our history. And we attribute a lot of that to the school support teams that Dr. Michael has helped us set up. Dr. Michael also is co-founder of the Carolina Network for School Mental Health, an organization that promotes the collaboration and sharing of school mental health initiatives in North and South Carolina. The overarching goal is to create a sustainable infrastructure for children's mental health. Uh, primarily through schools, through partnerships with schools. That's our model. By developing a group of community stakeholders within the schools, including administrators, school counselors, and resource officers, Dr. Michael's team mostly sees a relationship with mutual trust when they see the impact on their school. I've seen a, a huge impact on our school and students and how that team has um, just taken care of so many needs that I don't think would have been met otherwise. It's very scary what the outcome would have been for some students without their assistance. And without them being at this high school, I would really be afraid to think about what might have happened for some students. Being a parent, you know, I, you know obviously even imagining the, the, the death of a child is really overwhelming. So, um, you know, I, I think we want to not just preserve life, um, but help these uh, young people um, thrive. For his unwavering commitment, the University of North Carolina Board of Governors recognizes Dr. Kurt Michael with the Governor James E. Holzhauser Jr. Award for Excellence in Public Service, an award recently renamed for the late governor in tribute to his service to North Carolina. I don't know of anybody um, that dedicated more of his life to serving North Carolina uh, than Jim Holzhauser. But he cared deeply about the people of this state and, and gave his life to them. I mean, he really gave his life to them. And so I can't imagine anybody better to have this award named after than, than Governor Holzhauser. I mean, it's certainly an honor. Um, that's true. I'm very grateful to have a family that supports my wife, Amy, who is in the schools, and she understands this, probably to a, to a degree that's, that's higher than mine. And my kids, of course. Um, I get a lot of really good information from my own kids about um, how to serve kids. I'm grateful for, for them. One of the philosophies that we have as a unit is you know when public health is working when you don't hear about it. Um, so to me, the compliment is that uh, we do our thing and we generally do it quietly. And I'm happy to know that people don't necessarily know a lot about us because it means to me that we're doing our work.